It's a homicide. When we bend on their block, we make mamas cry. This bitch in rapid fire. I don't know nothing about no switches. Don't ask me about no switches. I don't know nothing about no switches. Know about some switches? I don't know nothing about no switches, though. 60 in the chop. This bitch here rapid fire. Now, what I'm making now is a little bit different, right? So, look. You take, like, a little sliver of the graves and you add it to it. You don't want to use a lot of this. You're going to make your drink undrinkable. It make you do the unthinkable. We push you on teas. That shit that get you popped. So... In preparation for the direction I plan on taking part of this channel, that I think is going to be very profitable. But y'all here for real, I don't know who to trust. I feel you, man. I feel you. I kick down the door, only let members in. Can't let you around me if you ain't finna spin. It's for the ones that show no love to me in the comment section. T-shirt gang, DOAs, ain't no more burglaries. All the ops, damn near dead or done had surgeries. It's messed up the skull if you ain't heard of me. You had like two shots like that big of some, some cherry moonshine. About to have a son, you throw M's before we too. Bitch, I'm edgy, who are you? They let me in the game, bro, to put it in the yoke. When crackers put the spot, we had them K's on the floor. So with the direction I'm finna take this channel in, I realized I should make a, come on, man. I, I, it's like almost like I have to turn down again just cause that comes on. That's no disrespect. Well, I'll leave it there. But with the direction I'm about to take this channel, I figured I said, you know what? It'd be a good idea to like, you know, make some points about the positives and negatives of Andrew Tate. Now I already pretty much don't need to avoid the shit Andrew Tate was doing, right? You know, cause I pretty much avoided as it is. But I just want like a real clear, concise shit about what not to do and what he did that was good. So I could amplify the shit he did that was good. Cause I ain't gonna hold you. To write the bad shit was a lot easier than it was to write the good shit. Okay. Like, everything I wrote that was good was basically just motivational speaker shit. <laughs> so, like, some of the bad things, I'm going to give you all a short list that I have that are negative about him. He's bald. The pimping aspect. The webcams. Misogyny. I did put the Bugatti on the negatives. And I'm going to tell you why. That was the whole reason I want to make this video. How many people do you know in person who own a Bugatti? How many people do you know in person who own one of the newer McLarens? Even more so, who own like something like a McLaren F1? How many people do you know who own those in person? Because I don't know none. I know some people with some cars, man. <laughs> I don't know nobody with no McLaren, no Bugatti. I don't know nobody with no Pagani, none of that. I know someone with a Ferrari. I know some people with some Cutlasses. I know some people with some uh, some Beamers and shit from the 80s and shit. I know some people with some JDM shits. You know, that are like imports and whatnot. I don't know nobody riding around no Bugatti Veyron. I know someone who had an Audi R8 at one point. And they sold that shit. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've never even, like, I've even known someone on the local Facebook group out here who bought an Audi R8, uh, Audi R8 at one of the used dealerships. I don't know them personally, but i just seen them post because they were mad about the deal they got. Or, like, some that didn't, and I was, like, telling them, I was, like, bro, why are you complaining you got an Audi R8 for, like, 15 grand, bro? I didn't even know you could get them that cheap. <laughs> So, either way, I was, it was just funny because I'm like, yo, you, you have money for an Audi R8, but you're complaining it didn't come with some complimentary ass shit that you felt it should have came with. Right. Some shit worth like less than $100, I'm pretty sure if I remember right. 
Either way. So I put the Bugatti as a negative because not only is it unobtainable, like they don't have them. Just is not. I believe they're made to order for the Bugattis now. <coughs> like they are made to order. It might even be how the uh, F1 was, where only like they only made forty something of them. Most of them were owned by sheiks in the United Arab Emirates in Dubai. And they were owned by the Saudis. The enemy in Saudi, the enemy around me. So, uh, yeah, basically, like, that shit is designed to be, like, unobtainable, almost. You might make a million dollars, but you have to have a million dollars to blow to buy that car. I mean, if you're smart, you have to have more than a million dollars. But you gonna put the house up like it's ball money? Come on. Either way, man, it's just like buying any type of vehicle that costs as much as like a house, bro. It's like you better off if you just bought a whole bunch. Like you bought four decent apartments and just landlorded motherfuckers. You would get that Bugatti money eventually off just doing that. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. But either way, so I had to put the Bugatti. In a negative light. Also because I feel like the Bugatti attracted a lot of attention to them. Both negative and positive. Uh, what I always say about the designer clothes up on this bitch. That's just a way for the feds to add you up. And ask, how did he get that kind of money? How? How? How does he, who's unemployed, as his uh, earnings report. And uh, when we checked with the, who does that? Department of Social Services or something? Yeah, he has no, he has had not, not, not had a job since 2016. How did he get a new guy? I'd like to know. That's all that does. You know what I'm saying? It makes people ask questions. Both good and bad. So you get all them people that are going to sign up for your dumbass little program. That's one thing, too, I had to throw in there. I just had to touch on that. I will never charge motherfuckers for that type of advice on here. Never. I'm not going to create no type of war room. Or no type of weird bullshit with it where it's like, hey, pay $15 a month to get this type of information. It's like information you could figure out yourself if you were just like half smart enough. But I'm going to sell it to you. No, I'll never do that. Never do that. If I ever offered anything where it was pay money, you were going to guarantee money out of it. It's not even like... We're going to give you the skills to make money. No, we're going to cut you into something. That's why you're paying for this. There is dividends that will be, keyword, will be made off this. And you can reserve your spot now. That's how investments are supposed to work. But that's the only way I would do it. And all them people will be like paying money to just listen to the same shit you could find from YouTube. Probably not from Andrew Tate. But from some other motherfucker, it's like, bro, what are you really doing but simping for another dude right now? I can't, I can't respect it. I ain't no senator, son, I can't respect it. It's like the type of people doing that, I'd imagine, is people with senator son type money. Just to throw at some shit because they not getting no pussy. Oh, it ain't even right for me to be talking shit about them, but I am. Tax men do not come to the door. <laughs> Either way. See, this is how you do some Oliver Anthony shit the right way, though. It ain't me, man. It ain't me. But either way, man, it's like, it's just crazy to me. It's like, I realized this was a lane the moment, like, I started looking at the Andrew Tate shit. And once I really, like, added up all the positives, I was like, well, you already be talking about that. And I'm like, I, I, I add up all the negatives first, because I had to. And I was like, it was so easy coming up with negatives. And it's not even, like, what I view as negative about them, but it's what the press was able to use to say it was negative. Got it. So, I had to share a short list with you, the short list of it, because it's just like, I see it now. There's so much shit 
he could have done that would have just not attracted that type of attention. You still could have flexed on people, bro. Like, that's why I figured, like, this is a lane for me. Because it's like, imagine Andrew Tate just walked everywhere. Do you know how, like, badass that would make him look? If he's, like, walking from one country to another and shit. He looks so badass. Like, that car, like, he's only able to do that shit with the cars, too. Because when he gets out of the car, he's equally as badass as the car. I'm as badass as that without the car. So, I just had to share that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can expect that to start up soon. Uh, tomorrow, we're building a booth in the, one of the rooms upstairs. So, we're we going to start recording some shit. You know, do you want to get a shitty job? Or do you want to live your fucking dreams? I know the answer to that. That's what I'm doing. So, yeah, I just had to speak on this because... I figured this was something y'all y'all fig y'all y'all made a point that like would be a good thing to see. <coughs> I realized that my own accord it be a lane for me. And so I figured, you know, there's this void that no one's really filling properly because all the alpha beta male people don't realize all you're doing is imprinting on people a very autistic way of thinking, I wanna say, and that's no disrespect to autistic people. But I'm just saying you're creating a way of thinking where imagine if you're talking to somebody about somebody else, right? And they refer to this other person as beta, sigma, alpha, whatever. Or they walk around with concepts like if I just grip his handshake harder than him, he becomes up. No, no. If you do that to the wrong person like me, we feel disrespected or like you trying to do some weird shit. We're going to punch you in your shit. The handshake going to turn into biff. Pull you right in, drop you. <laughs> like, so it's like, ah, that shit tastes like ass. I miss when Ag was around. I stopped by Ag when it was 180. I said 180 for a steal. That's already too much money. <laughs> it's out like 2014, man. <laughs> it was 2014 or 15. It's the last time. It was Lenny. I know it was with Lenny when it happened. Because he wanted to buy something right after. But he had to plug for that. So he was able to get for a little bit less. But still, I think he paid 150 or something. So the last time I take a look drank lean was with Lenny. But the last time I bought it was right before that. But yeah, man, it's just... <coughs> it just goes down to like... I, I said, if I'm going to do this, I'm not going to make none of the mistakes this man made. I don't think I'm I've even am really gonna be able to make those mistakes, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so I wanna make it clear cut everything he did wrong, put that on paper, so I just know real clearly, don't do these things. And like one of the first ones I had to put was the Bugatti. Right after misogyny, I had to put the Bugatti. <laughs> like I don't know why. Just like I was I was left a comment somewhere, I think it was on a CLR Bruce River channel, I said. Imagine how how everything goes south if he comes out and says, and the Bugatti was rented. <laughs> That's worse than you didn't than like not even having the Bugatti to begin with. Oh my mama. So I just had to share that with y'all. I'm out this bitch, man. Take it easy. Good night.